Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can disable UEFI Secure Boot inside Windows 10. Now, if you've got a UEFI BIOS, uh, you can do this by clicking on the Start button in Windows 10, then uh, Settings. Inside here, you want to come down to where it says Update and Security. Uh, click on that, and on the left-hand pane, come down to where it says Recovery, then look for uh, Advanced Startup. Once we click on uh, restart now, this is going to take us straight into our option to go into UEFI BIOS without tapping on any keys. So when it restarts, it will automatically give you a blue screen with some options. So we'll just let this load up and uh, take a bit of time. And there we go. We can now choose an option. And uh, what you want to do here is come down to where it says troubleshoot. Now what this is going to allow you to do is enter the BIOS without tapping on any sort of key if you don't know what that key is or if you're not familiar with the BIOS. Now we're going to come into the troubleshoot area and go to advanced options and uh, in the next window we're going to come over to where it says UEFI firmware settings, change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware. So navigate over to that area there and click on it. Now if you don't see that there you're going to need to look at the post screen and uh, tap the key to get into it. On mine it's uh, Dell key or delete key. Now this is your BIOS. Uh, once you're in your BIOS you want to go over to where it says settings here. You can go to uh, advanced or beginner area in the BIOS. This is the advanced area. Go into the settings and if you take a look at under the boot area you'll see boot mode selected is legacy plus UEFI and that means it's going to accept both of these so if you want to just have UEFI you can select the UEFI but if you want a legacy and UEFI you can put it on there as well it's that simple and it's that simple now there is another option that we can change uh, for our USB flash drive so when we want to boot to it so let's go back to the main BIOS screen here and click settings inside here we're looking for advanced go into advanced and uh, we're going to be looking for USB uh, configuration inside USB configuration you'll see legacy USB supported on this MSI board here and you can see I've got that enabled now yours may be disabled, but if it is enabled, then that means it's going to be supporting uh, legacy USB support, which is nice. But if you disable it or it's uh, on auto, it may not um, allow you to boot that. So you can change that there as well. So that's another setting that you can change. Now, of course, there's many different types of BIOSes. This is an older style type BIOS here, which you're looking at right now. And you can see that does have secure boot active on here. You can disable those or enable them. You just have to look around, okay? This one's gigabyte uh, option here. Now, there's many different styles and types, so you just need to root through the BIOS and look for it and disable it if you want to disable secure boot. And uh, it's that simple, okay? And last one, Asus as well. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightsetcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.